Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at another Japanese racing game by the name of Hashiria, if I pronounced that correctly. You'll have to excuse my pronunciation, as I'm not good at speaking the Japanese language, so. This game actually was released in 1997 in Japan, and it is an arcade based racer. And it is a very similar style and vibe to the likes of Initial D that was also released in Japan on the PlayStation. I actually have done a previous video on Initial D. I'll make sure to drop a link below in the description so that you can go and check it out. Although unlike Initial D where that game does focus heavily on the likes of utilising drift mechanics while you're driving the cars. This game doesn't do it as such because it's more, it really is more arcade focused. It'd be very similar to the likes of more so Ridge Racer and other similar type of games that came out around that same time. So the, you have a different variation of tracks that you can race on, kind of like with mountain toge style race environments and even likes of race tracks and different types of kind of like difficult narrow and wide courses. And you have a different selection of cars that you can actually race from anything from the likes of even a Mini Cooper all the way to like a Toyota Starlet even to the likes of a Mazda RX-7 and the like. So there is a good variation of tracks here. The game itself does offer quite a unique challenge. It can be difficult to pick up with at first because getting used to the handling physics in the game. Although when you first play it can feel a little bit on the twitchy side. But after a while of actually playing the game, which I have done myself when I was recording this video, it actually does actually improve and you'll find that you actually will get the hang of it. The computer AI is actually difficult to get the better of as well, I will admit, in the races because you always feel like that you're always kind of close but you never seem to get really kind of any sort of leverage on them but when you do actually happen to get past them if you can build up enough of a lead without making any mistakes you will have a decent chance of winning races and so forth but the game is actually really good it's actually quite fast paced it does present the challenge it does have really cool looking style courses again with their own unique quirks and elements that actually will reflect your driving style Plus you actually have access to, like I mentioned, a number of different cars. Some are quicker than others and they all have their own unique handling characteristics and so forth. So it takes a bit of getting used to, but it's actually quite an enjoyable game. And as I'm going through the process of actually exploring a lot of these Japanese racing games that were released only in that region on Japan for the PlayStation 1, this is another one of those kind of like hidden gems. Because the more I've actually played it, the more I've actually gotten into it and really really like it it's actually a very good game very good arcade based racer it's actually in my opinion one of the better japanese racers on the playstation and it's obviously one that a lot of people may not even know about how i actually kind of found out about it myself was literally just i actually seen videos on other youtube channels some gameplay videos a couple of years ago where i actually did see this game actually being played and i liked the look of it and i actually thought it was pretty cool so when I decided to start looking into doing videos on a lot more of these games, I was on the lookout to try and actually get my hands on this game so that I could actually do a video on it myself. So I managed to actually do that. And honestly, I'm not disappointed. I actually really, really like the game. Like I said, it does present a challenge, but it actually has really nice graphics for its time period. And it just plays really well when you get the hang of it. So it's definitely something that I think that is worth actually looking into. It's actually quite quirky. It does have its own kind of unique elements that are very, very different to other type of racing games. Even with all the racing games that I actually have played on the PlayStation, like there's still loads left to explore from Japan. And that's my aim. I will be doing more videos on each of those in due course. I have actually done quite a few already. So I'll leave a link below down to a playlist so that you can see the videos on those games. But the more I actually find these games and play them the more accustomed i'm actually getting to know them better and to be more familiar with them and the one thing i'm loving at the minute is the fact is that the playstation still has so much to offer even after all these years that there's still so many hidden gems that a lot of us have never actually known about or even let alone seen and this here is a really good example of that even though right graphically it's not the greatest game on the system 
but what's the one thing that I love about the system is the graphics don't actually have to be good at all. Some of the best games I've ever played are on the PlayStation 1 or games that never really had the best of graphics. But the gameplay elements and the story and just everything about the game just fitted perfectly and it just had a unique vibe to it and it just it really set its own standard pretty much and that's what i loved about the system that's what i still love about the system that's why i always consider it to be my favorite console of all time because of games like this here there's so many hidden gems that you would just play for ages and the thing is some of these games you'd never think would be even good at all but then when you do play them and you get into them they just they are amazing and this is definitely for me one of those games it definitely is a hidden gem i was completely just shocked at how good it is once you get into it again you do need to give yourself a bit of time to get a feel for the game but it's definitely worth trying out but in saying that actually trying to find information about a lot of these japanese style games on the playstation there's very little information out there online and from trying to do a bit of research it's very very hard to find anything you do find a few other videos maybe from other youtubers and that that have played the game over the last number of years but there's very little in terms of articles or even like translations to really kind of give you a background as to the story or the premise behind each of these games but again it's still something that in my own opinion is worth exploring and maybe i might be able to share something that maybe someone is actually looking for by actually playing these games because I'm sure there's plenty of others out there, like myself, that really want to get involved with looking into these type of games and even exploring them. You can find copies of this game actually relatively cheaply at the moment on eBay for a decent price that is very affordable. But I'd imagine before long, as with a lot of these other games, in time they will, especially if more and more people get familiar with them and they do gain in popularity, which I think they inevitably will, the prices will actually soar and they will go up. So now would be actually a great time to invest in some of these games, especially if you're a collector and you want to build up a really good collection, especially of these type of titles. Now would be a good time to invest in them, at least you have them for the future. But if not, emulation is also a good route to go down as well. So either one, it's pretty much down to your preference, where you want to get access to them and play them. But I definitely do, in my own opinion, if you're a fan of racing games like I am, I absolutely love racing games. This is definitely one that you should check out, for sure. It is actually really, really good. Like I mentioned, it does present a challenge. It has a lot of unique quirks and elements. It's different. It feels different. It has a unique vibe to it that really sets its own kind of standard. But it's definitely something that I think you would actually enjoy. And I highly recommend that you actually give it a go. Even just to compare it to other style racing games that were released in Japan. So I highly recommend you go and check it out. And if you'd love to see more of these type of games on the playstation you'd like to see more videos of reviews and even gameplay elements where i share my experiences and even just overall gameplay footage of these type of games then let me know what you think down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like also be sure to subscribe to the channel and again hit that bell icon to be updated whenever future videos are released and also be sure to check out some of the other videos on the screen where I have provided other reviews and gameplay videos of other Japanese style racing games that were released only in that region for the PlayStation 1. So as always, make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them. And keep those gaming memories alive.